everybody. Swami's Crafty Side again. I know, long time, it's been forever. I know, I know, it's my fault, I'm sorry. Uh, life's just been busy, crazy busy. So, um, anyway, I wanted to come back and come out with, you know, some new stuff for you guys. I have two tutorials that I'm going to be putting up ASAP. Uh, the first one is how to make tool poofs. Um, I made this really cool Halloween bow for a friend's daughter, and you'll see, um, it's nice, thick, layer stack bow, and I kind of wanted to put some accents on it, and one of the things I had wanted to do was do tool poofs, uh, because they're cute, and... Um, but I was taking me forever. Like I watched half a season of Continuum making tool poofs. So I was like, okay, it's a really good show. You guys should watch it. But I'm not really paid to plug that either. I just thought it was a really good show. But uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to, you're going to need scissors, a uh, needle and thread, and some of these regular six inch tool on a roll like you can buy at Hobby Lobby. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to roll out about two feet of the tool okay you're gonna roll it and go end over end you want to be about four times then you want to go ahead I did two inch so the four inch total uh, tool poof and what I did was you do that then you get your needle and thread and you go around once and you tie two knots okay then you do four inches and do the same thing then you're going to want to tie it off right here four inches tied off so every four inches you're going to tie it off and that'll give you um, a bunch like this then what you can do is you can turn around and you go right in the middle where it looks about even-ish and you want to go ahead and cut now if one side is longer than the other you can go ahead and trim it just a little bit you know kind of make it perfect even and then you can have your tool but then you can fluffy it out fluff it out real good and you have yourself some tool poofs. Alright, so it's an easy way to make several, um, especially if you have a show you like to watch. Um, you're able to make several and just sit there and kind of just, it's basically tying knots. So you can add them underneath, um, you can add them underneath corker bows, you can add them to like kind of fill. The nice thing about tool poofs is that they are really lightweight. So you're not going to add any weight to your bow by adding a tool poof. And I really like this bow. I thought it was really fun. It's Halloween, you know, Halloween tone. And my daughter's 10 now, so she doesn't really wear bows as much. It makes me sad. But the cool thing I like about Halloween bows is you can always add really fun um, accents to them. Um, I got some little bats. You can get um, you can get a few too. If you're interested in buying supplies, I do have a few because I like to buy things wholesale so that I can get it for a really decent price. So. You know, if you guys are interested, you can always uh, email me, admin at mommy's crafty side. If you guys have ideas for a tutorial, feel free to to email me as well um, and say, hey, I'd really like to learn how to do this. Um, I'm also going to be adding a couple tutorials that are just, you know, kind of fun for everybody. Um, the other nice thing about these tool poofs is if you really don't want to get super creative, but you need one in a pinch, um, my daughter had... Uh, friend's birthday she was going to and the whole theme was like a certain color and that was really nice because I just made her a couple of like little piggy style clips that she could wear and you know you can kind of make them however themed you want and then just to kind of tie it in in the center you can add something a bottle cap or like a, you know, a little bat and you got yourself a nice little clip right on there They're super easy like I said it's really lightweight so you know, if it's a littler kid, you can put it on there, even a, a large, like, four, six, eight inch big tool poof and add a lot. And um, it's not going to get any heavier. So, anyway, that's it for today. I'll be adding another one on easy peasy way to make your lined clips. That'll be our next tutorial. So, be sure to um, give a thumbs up to this and check out some of our other videos. Um, to make the boutique bow, you want to check out the boutique bow tutorial. I'll be adding a corker tutorial, trying for next week, I promise. Again, if you have any questions or if you want to request a specific tutorial or if you'd like to, or are interested in purchasing any of my extra supplies, um, go ahead and email us, admin at mommyscraftyside.com, which is just like the name of the channel. Alright guys, have a fun Halloween.